Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Battle Royale. And this is the Sun Family, Vegeta Family Battle Royale. Uh, you have to strictly use units from that Battle Royale for those, for those categories, sorry. For people who haven't done a Battle Royale, uh, Senshi, it's a special kind of PvP game mode held over a couple days. Uh, you get two tickets per day. You don't have to use them in that day, but you get them as soon as you log in and open up the PvP screen. Uh, and basically you can only play it during certain time frames. So for example, on my side, it's from 12 to four o'clock in the afternoon, and there's three slots per day you can play it in. Now the rewards aren't crazy, but they are pretty cool. You get victory reward medals, which you can use to get some chrono crystals, but also some cool voice lines, which I always find is more appealing. Not only that, but depending on how well you do, you'll get a special title. So it's more for people who are dedicated to a certain category or team than anything else. Now, in terms of Battle Royale, how it works is you start out with 5,000 score. For every match you lose, you lose 500. For every match you win, you gain 500. And the higher your score, the harder the opponent you face. And in theory, the lower your score, the easier the opponent you face. You can exchange the medals you get, but you only get the medals for winning. Uh, and there are some missions, but they are just mainly for slot removers. Now, in terms of this Battle Royale, uh, it's Son Family and Vegeta Family only but there's a boost of 30% damage reduction within combos to Saiyan Saga units and 50% damage inflicted to Saiyan Saga units. Now, the Saiyan Saga is so limited right now still that honestly speaking, there's no real appeal in going for those Saiyan Saga uh, buffs. Uh, I'm gonna be building a Saiyan Saga team here. You'll see uh, with blue Zenkai Goku, red Zenkai Powerful Opponent Vegeta, and I'm just slotting in the green Vegeta because uh, that's really all I have. Uh, Riaditz doesn't count as Goku's family, understandably. But basically, uh, this team is just not great. Um, and I don't think it's, I mean, obviously, uh, I am limited in my choices. I haven't summoned for the latest Goku or anything, but I think even if you pick up the latest Goku, um, I don't think you're getting much out of this team. Like, uh, to be honest with you, uh, with units like Ultra Gohan, Beast Gohan, um, Ultra Instinct Goku, with all of these really, really top-notch PvP units that fall within just the Son family bracket alone, uh, let alone talking about, you know, potentially Vegeta's family teams, I just think uh, you're so limited if you stick with Saiyan Saga that even the buffs they gave, it's just not worth it. So rather stick with something more tried and tested, uh, maybe a Son family team or a Vegeta's family team or, you know, hybrid Saiyans maybe potentially if you've got Ultra Gohan, stick with it. There's no need to switch to Saiyan Saga, you're just not gonna get the same kind of boost out of it uh, that one might think. But yeah, that is that is basically it for me. Honestly speaking, a um, little bit disappointed with the buffs. I think they needed to give a lot more to really get players to use Saiyan Saga. Uh, of course, I'm not the best player, but still. But yeah, that's it from me. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, Take care and stay safe, but I do suggest moving with a more traditional team uh, that you've probably been using anyway. But yeah, bye.